Hey guys, today we are here with Robert from Swamp Creek Cabin. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a plethora of new tractors showing up on YouTube. And um, let's see, we have Wrangler Star with Yanmar. Is that how you say it? Yeah. And then we have Deep South Homestead with an LS tractor. And you'll notice they're all little tractors. They're not these big, enormous pieces of farm equipment. They're on the smaller side. And I think with the new tractors, they have a lot of different options that before were not affordable to the average homesteader. Um, Robert is no exception. You got a John Deere. Mm -hmm. And it's it's teeny for a tractor, but it's not just like a little lawn tractor. It, it, yeah. it obviously has some pretty neat tools that come with it. Yeah, it would be what they call their three series. So their one series is like super compact, mm -hmm. two series is a subcompact. And this is like a medium homeowner tractor. So why did you decide on the John Deere? Um, I plan on having this tractor for a long time and I've run a lot of old Deere, John Deere stuff and there's always great parts availability and growing up my dad always had you know various uh, brands of tractors and sometimes some of the stuff that came from offshore is really hard to find parts 30 years later you know. Right. And so that's one of the big reasons I did is because John Deere always has a great parts supply uh, if you're planning on having something for a long time or you run something that's older. Um, we also had 0% financing uh, deal running right now, so I went ahead and um, financed this um, and it was uh, good payments and everything. Yeah. So, can you can you tell us what the, what the end, was it five figures, was it four figures, was, did you feel like it was pretty reasonable? Okay, so um, so this tractor right here, three series. This is a, a 3025E, uh, which is the base model three series, and it runs about uh, around about seventeen thousand dollars. So it's not uh, a small investment. Now we looked and looked, and we tried to find a used tractor, something that was decent, and you can't find anything in our area that is decent for less than twelve thousand dollars. Um, and so with buying this, I got a 10 year warranty. Um, everything that was in that $12,000 range still had at least a thousand hours on it and had just been hammered to death. And um, all, in fact, it's funny because we're looking for, um, at used tractors, you know, looking through the normal places like Craigslist and stuff like that, they, I would come across John Deere tractors and they would be selling them used for more money than I could go down and buy one. Right. So along with the scope and the magnitude of the projects that we have going on, um, so I have some physical uh, ailments, I have a bad back, and so the, the lifting ability, um, the workhorse that this is, uh, is the only way that uh, we're gonna get that kind of stuff done. Um, just because digging, digging one post hole, uh, pounding T-posts, um, it's just really, really hard on my back. And so to be able to do those things with the tractor um, allows me to not be down for multiple days because I, I, you know, I can't move. Um, so this has been a huge back saver and we have just, uh, we haven't had it very long, but man, we've already used it a ton. And every time I use it, I think, oh my God, I'm so glad we got this. So this is a uh, scraper blade. Uh, we've got a lot of blading to do on the driveway. Um, so that's part of the reason why uh, we got that and it uh, it swivels front or back so you can push backwards with it uh, Or you know scrape as you as you go along um, and we've used that a lot. That's a, a good one um, The box scraper also would be a good uh, Investment if you're lo looking to drag and level a lot of land We may eventually get one of those just because it carries the material with you better um, for leveling so. the other implement we bought with it is um, a post hole digger and the reason for that is we plan on doing like a pole barn uh, in the near future. So I, want, I wanted to have something to dig those holes with because my back doesn't like digging holes anymore. The other implement that I have here is, uh, I think they call it a middle buster or hard pan buster. And this is actually just one I borrowed from my dad. Um, and we use that for uh, busting up the area for the garden. There's a real hard clay and then uh, busting up an area for a ditch as well. So one of the important things, I guess, if you're considering a tractor to weigh is whether or not you really need one. Um, if you have a small acreage 
and you just use, would use it occasionally, it might make more sense to borrow uh, or rent from somebody. Um, in our case, with the scope and the magnitude of the projects that we have going on and that we have coming up, um, it just made more sense to buy in our scenario. Um, but everybody's, you know, everybody's path is different. Um, we have a ton of earthworks to do, ton of building projects, and by the time we calculated how much money that would spend in rentals, um, it just it just makes more sense to buy it. And another reason I went with the three series instead of the one or the two series is for clearance. Um, we have quite a bit more clearance, and we have a ton of clay and soft spots on this property. And trust me, I've already gotten this stuck a couple times. Didi. Did he had to pull me out um, just this last weekend? I got stuck um, over, over there, as a matter of fact. Just so this tractor is just the base model. Um, it's got high and low forward reverse. It's a hydrostatic transmission. So you simply it's got an arrow pointing that way if you want to go forward, and arrow pointing back if you want to go back. There's no switching of transmissions or anything like that. Um, it's really simple to operate. The hardest thing to get figured out is the. Uh, um, is the bucket because it feels backwards you pull down to go up and, and vice versa so it feels backwards to me but I've, I've used it enough now that I'm, I'm getting in the groove. PTO, standard PTO it's just a basic uh, a basic uh, tractor I went with the 24 and a half horsepower if you go above 25 horsepower you have to get the, t the what they call tier 4 emissions which is you have to add the, the diesel exhaust fluid um, and with that comes, you know, uh, a DPF catalyst and some more complex components. So just the reason why I didn't go with a bigger horsepower, um, w one was cost, and second was I wanted to uh, stay away from the, the tier four. It's called a three-point implement or three-point setup, and basically what it means is you have three points of, uh, of contact here, you know, two, two bottom and one top. At least we can't see. That's the best sign, is if you can't see and it hurts to look at the camera, you know okay. you're not in dappled sunlight. Okay, <laughs> fair enough.